Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at pistol optics and what I feel is the worst pistol optic in today's market. Now what you're looking at here is a Trigicon RMR. I am not referring to this. Actually this optic right here, the RMR, has set the industry standard in terms of ruggedness, in terms of quality. A lot of people say this is among the best as well as the Trigicon SRO with the wider lens. And those are great optics, no doubt about it. And from the onset, the Trigicon RMR has been known to be a great optic, along with the Shield models. When Shield came out, they were, they were among the first as well. A lot of people love the Shield models, as well as the Leupold Delta Point Pro models. And those are great. But since then, there have been so many. And I fought optics for the longest time. I said, I don't want anything to do with them. I'm fine with the iron sights on the pistol. But... My buddies had a couple guns with optics on them, and I, I kind of got used to it. I said my aging eyes could certainly use the help, and I became a bit of an optic fan. In the last three or four years, I have a lot of experience with optics, and now I know what is quality and what is garbage. So I'm going to go through a few right now, and then I want to bring out what I feel is the worst in today's market. This right here is a Bushnell RXM 300. It's an SRO copy that is half the cost. It's an excellent optic. They're, they're just coming out with this right now, but I, I love it. It's a huge glass, nice clear red dot on there. And Bushnell's doing a great job with their optics. And this here is a Bushnell RXC red dot. All right, I think these are quality optics and I enjoy these on each of these handguns. I watched a couple videos with these big box optics on there. I said, those are goofy looking. But then I got a couple and I said, actually, they're quite amazing. Although they look weird on top of this Ruger American competition, the feeling that you get when you look at that big lens and check out that, this is a Steiner MPS. Okay, this is, this is a high-end optic as well, 500 plus. But it is a lot of fun shooting with these big box optics. Although, you know, you can't care too much. This is a Swamp Fox Kraken on the Glock 41. Both of these are very cool. This is a green dot. This is a red dot. This is less expensive with the Swamp Fox. This is the Steiner MPS. Very much more expensive, but nevertheless, great optics on pistols. Speaking of Swamp Fox, I've been happy with their optics. I've got several. This is a Swamp Fox Justice on my Glock 45 MOS. I like the aluminum housing and the battery compartment right there. So you don't have to take the optic off to change out the battery. Here's a Swamp Fox Sentinel. It's a green dot. Probably can't see that. The dots never show up well on video. But it, it holds zero and it does a great job. They're, they're built very well. Easy to adjust. And I've become a fan. How can we forget about Halson Optics? They make some phenomenal optics. And on my Masada 9S, I have a EPS carry. Closed pistol sight. It's shake awake. It's a green dot. This one specifically. It's, it has a battery tray right there. So you don't have to take the optic off to change out the battery. It's solar powered as well as battery powered. So that cuts down on the the usage of the battery here's another one i'm yet to mount this a 507c x2 series this also has the the solar panel right there it extends the battery life and it makes it nice and easy to operate outdoors so hollison they do a great job and i uh plan to mount several more on upcoming pistols. Vortex makes fine optics across the board. I don't think anybody could argue with that. Here's a Vortex Venom on my TX-22 competition and here's my Vortex Viper on the Taurus G3. They both happen to be mounted on Taurus models. That just happened to work out that way. But they make some great optics as well and I have no complaints with Vortex and their pistol optics. On my A-Rex Delta Gen 2, I have a Riton MPRD. This is a nice optic. It's, it's not my favorite, but it certainly works. It has the battery compartment underneath, so you do have to remove the battery, but for a budget price, 
sometimes even close to a hundred dollars you can get a Riton and PRD and I think that's a pretty good choice especially to what I'm going to compare it to or at least reveal what I think is the worst optic in today's market you're tired of listening to me so let's get to it this is a Sky CPX2 when Sky made these optic ready they included an optic on there and they had since stopped including an optic on there and why well according to the rep the certain optic that is under this cover plate they said sucks and i have to agree this optic sucks and i'm going to tell you why it is a crimson trace cts 1500 we don't have to worry about looking at the red dot through the camera lens even though it doesn't pick it up that well i will verify it is not there this is my third one on this pistol now when i originally reviewed this pistol i couldn't wait to get to the range and sight it in and check it out like anybody would with any other pistol with a red dot on there but i took one shot that dot went away i said maybe it's the battery i changed out the battery no luck so then I replaced it. I wanted to review the gun as it comes shipped with a Crimson Trace CTS-1500 on there. And I did. I put the optic on there. I went to go sight it in. I took two shots this time and the red dot went out. I've had four of these and currently only one works to this day. This optic I think is garbage and... Crimson Trace says right around $150 to $170 this will cost. Well, for that amount of money and many of the variants out there now, Siley comes to mind, some other one, I think it's ADE comes to mind. People are saying, hey, these are nice optics that are far less money. But here's the thing, they have to work to be effective. And when you have so many experiences with an optic that doesn't work, you tend to think, it's garbage and that's what I think of the CTS 1500 now when I first got it I said as it sits now I always say that currently or so far through my experiences but time matters and time it didn't actually with this it didn't matter it was one or two shots and the optic went out replaced the battery twice it was still out sky themselves said they stopped shipping them with the crimson trace CT 1500 on there because they don't work and so, you know, you think that you're getting a, a nice setup here, and perhaps you are, but if you go with the CT1500, then you're on your own. Good luck with it. I hope it works out. Uh, in my experiences, they did not work out on several occasions, and I, I've had it with them. I feel very confident saying that this is the worst pistol optic in today's market, and it's a Crimson Trace CTS 1500 and my advice would be to avoid this optic at all costs if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe